Hello and welcome to Best of the Best Week. We begin with my non-makeup beauty favorites. So this is going to be stuff I never get a chance to talk about. I don't really do favorites videos anymore. I do top shelf videos, which are all of the things that I'm using regardless of when they came out, when I tried them for the first time, and there are a lot of repeats in there. And it's always a really good way to touch base on my routine, but this is stuff that I tried for the first time this year, and they are truly the things that I mark as game changers for my routine that just don't happen to live in the makeup storage over here on this wall. <laughs> and I am psyched to be able to share the first thing with you right off the bat before we jump in, and that is all of the jewelry that I am so lucky to be able to wear in my life and on camera from my favorite jewelry company, Ana Luisa. Yes, we are rounding out another year of being an Ana Luisa VIP. If you ever see me wearing gold jewelry that isn't installed by a piercer or like a wedding ring or an heirloom or something, it's from Ana Luisa because they are beautiful, sustainable, affordable. All their stuff starts at $39. They're running a great sale right now, approaching the, <laughs> the last little bit of the gifting season here and maybe some gifting for yourself. And it's buy one, get one 50% off site wide. I made a reel over on Instagram showing y'all kind of my most worn pieces from this year. But to be honest, I just love opening my jewelry box and seeing all of the options because these are carbon neutral, water neutral, all recycled gold. They do all of their plating in house. And today I wanted to wear stuff that not only I have that's like new. So I have this new one right here. That's this tiny, beautiful little gemstone. It's like so incredibly delicate. And I have this lovely little climber right here that's these cute little stars. I have another one over here that's like three different stones. It's got a fire opal in it. I love just the delicacy of some of their stuff and then also just this really cool bold maximalism that's in other ones. There's very current stuff, there's very classic stuff. But I wanted to show y'all that it's not just about new, new, new. Some of the stuff I've had for years and I continue wearing it all the time. This one right here, I don't think they even make it anymore. And like they have tons of these really great ear cuffs that look like genuine piercings and you never even notice that they're there. But I put this one on, I think when I got it and I just never took it off because it's just this great ear cuff. Like I have a, an actual conch piercing but I would prefer this. Don't go get don't go get a, a hole punched right there. You don't need it. Just, you know, wear, a, wear an ear cuff. It's super comfortable. I shower in it, I sleep in it, I exercise in it. I completely forget that it's there. And they have also a phenomenal selection of like really glitzy, gorgeous things. So the ones that I've been wearing a ton right now are these Pave Paris. So I have the Paris earrings, right? And I've been wearing the crap out of those all year long, but they came out with these little bitty ones that they have paves, which means that they're just like these nice, uh, beautiful rhinestones that are inset in there. And they're about half the size. And just my mother had an absolute fit over them when I was wearing them. And they're just really like they're delicate, but they're eye catching. They have this beautiful glitzy glitter to them. And I love, especially when I have my hair pulled back and you can see my ears and everything to wear something that has the paves in it because it just catches the light in the most beautiful way. And it looks really glamorous, but you can like dress it up or you can wear it kind of like I do, you know, I, I like to look vaguely threatening. So it's kind of this like, almost irony, you know? So I like to use those things to put like the friction in my outfits, really like maximize the aesthetic and give y'all what, you know, the visual interest on camera, but also it makes me feel really beautiful every time I look at myself. So the thing that rounds out every single one of my looks is Ana Luisa's jewelry. I love being just dripping in gold and it is the final touch to every outfit. It is the one thing that is the current that runs through every single one of my looks. So I wanna thank Ana Luisa Louisa for partnering with me again in 2022. It has been just a pleasure to partner with them. I love sharing them with you on my channel. I hope y'all have enjoyed it too. Definitely go check out their buy one, get one 50% off sale running site-wide right now for all of your gifting needs. Use my link in the description to do so. And thank you to Ana Luisa for making it so easy to love their jewelry. And without further ado, y'all, Let's go ahead and jump into all of these non-makeup beauty and lifestyle favorites. 
I basically, it's kind of like when you're packing for a trip, you use something in your routine and then you throw it in your suitcase because you're like, you can't think of it all at once, but like as you're using it, you're just like, okay, throw it in the bag, throw it in the bag, throw it in the bag. I don't want to forget about that kind of thing. And so I have this whole box over here. I do think that since I can see it all, we should probably go in some kind of order, right? So let's start with body care. Let's start with body care. What is this? This is something that I bought. <laughs> This lives in my closet because it's my stash of yet to be used, yet to be opened. Well, actually this one only has one in it and this one has two in it. I brought these to my mom for Christmas as well. Everybody who uses these guests at my house, they get addicted to them instantly. These are the Soft Services Buffing Bars, the Micro Crystal Exfoliant. And you know, I've used a lot of great exfoliants, but I find that like, you know, Naturium sent me one and it's lovely. It's just a really nice, you know, scrubby, ugh, body wash thing. What I feel like ends up happening is I'm rubbing my hands on my skin and I'm like exfoliating my hand more than I'm exfoliating my back, which is where I need it, right? I have KP and if I don't daily <laughs> scrub whatever residue, sweat, what have you, I am a night sweats gal. If I don't scrub all that stuff off, like the center middle of my back and shoulders, I'm gonna break out. Like the, the pores are going to clog with keratoses and it's just gonna be a whole thing. And not only is this super duper effective, this is, I'll open it up, it's blue. Uh, but also like I gave it to my mom the first day that I was visiting her recently. <laughs> And so I got her feedback every single day. She's a daily showerer like I am. And she's like, Khaki, I wish that I could use this all over my body every single day. She's like, but I'm afraid I'm going to draw blood. That's how effective and also like mm, satisfying these are to use. So they're real soft right when you, you know, touch it, right when you get it. And then as soon as you wet it and you start scrubbing with it, I'm gonna put it down so it doesn't like melt on my hands. As soon as you start scrubbing with it wet, it starts to reveal its little micro crystals and they are so tenacious. They are not scrubbing away and dissolving. If you don't keep that bar wet, you can hurt yourself and I have. But if you do keep the bar reasonably wet and you are exercising some common sense, which sometimes leaves me when I get in kind of a, a scrubbing mode, regardless, it does a phenomenal job, especially if you deal with dullness, just basically all over your body. Like I do, I have ingrown hairs on my legs, just all sorts, all sorts of things that having to do with the fact that my cell turnover is lazy. And so I use that for just the total experience. And it's it's no waste, you know? That's why I had to show you one that hadn't been opened yet because it's a bar. So just once it's done, it's it vanishes. <laughs> but it is very much like a warning up front, use them responsibly because yeah, I mean, you can hurt yourself with it. It is, it's basically bath time sandpaper. <laughs> what doesn't kill you gives you softer skin. The other thing that I like to use for those purposes, especially after I have scraped the top couple of layers of my skin off with bath time sandpaper is this TLC glycolic body lotion from Drunk Elephant. No, the headband's gone. Nope. It'll be in the thumbnail and that's it. That's it. My head hurts. This is the thing besides exfoliating super aggressively that turned my body acne around this year. Holy macaroni. If I'm having particularly dry skin everywhere, I will use this on my legs, on my arms, on my underarms, on my everywhere. It really is face skin care for your body in the sense of having super strong actives. Like if, if you have done your due diligence and you have really scraped off a breakout on your back and you put this on, it's going to light up your life. But if you have been living with the menace that is like, you know, just persistent, annoying breakouts on your back, there's kind of nothing better than that stinging feeling. You feel like you're just going in there and torching the village. Okay. Like get out, you're evicted. And these this just evicts them. So that's, that's where we're at. This is, this is all quite dark. I have these very like vindictive feelings about, about body acne, but nonetheless, yeah, it's that combo. And this is just, I mean, I burn through this stuff and I just keep buying it and I love it so much. I don't know if y'all are going to get another empties out of me within this year, just because it, it's, it's all repeats. There's nothing particularly exciting about it. So 
this is kind of a, a better way probably of reviewing these things. Okay, the only other body care thing I have is this, this is probably the fourth one of these that I've been through this year. I did a sponsorship with Osea earlier this year and I got hooked on their entire Undaria Algae line, but the body oil, oh my God. Yeah, I, you know, there are people who tagged me constantly in this and you know, on Instagram and like in their reels and stuff like that being like, I, I bought this, I took the plunge and I hate you because I can never use anything else now and I will say it goes a long way this is just the most unbelievably effective gorgeous body oil that actually soaks into the skin and doesn't get all over your clothes but it really hydrates my skin it's an amazing last step a lot of times when I put on a body oil I feel like it's you know it's just kind of on the outside and it doesn't really do much other than kind of you know occlude as a last layer and then it just comes off on my clothes and my sheets not this, and bonus, it smells delicious in a natural way. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the most gorgeous, natural, sweet citrus smell. It's just lovely. I enjoy it greatly, as you can tell. So yeah, I used to use their anti-aging body balm. This goes so much farther, <laughs> thank God, because I was definitely burning through that stuff. And it's a great, solution for me, a person who does not wear synthetic fragrance on my body very well. It's one of those things that kind of encourages breakouts. And this is something that smells pleasant that doesn't irritate my skin. So I like that a lot because I do love a good luxurious smell and it's a very sophisticated scent. All right, I put this in the box because I need to mention something. So this is the Necessaire deodorant gel. And if you've been on my channel this year, you know that I have basically said that this and the Kosa's sport deodorant oh no what is the name of it i can't remember but regardless that i say that they're one and the same right and it was just like a toss-up i didn't know how i was going to feel until it came time to repurchase them because i got sent this one no <laughs> i got sent one of them the eucalyptus one for free when i did a sponsorship with them and i've also received the kosas one in pr and things like that i got my mom turned on to the kosas one it is a little less expensive well they're the same price but you get more in the kosas and the kosas also has a plastic container that tends to fail. Like I've packed it for travel and it's gotten a little smashed and things like that and it'll kind of start to, you know, break around the actual seal and stuff. So that has been imperfect in my experience. However, I repurchased this one at the Sephora, the Sephora sale? I don't remember. I repurchased it because I was like, okay, I want the aesthetic. If it's all the same from a formula standpoint, I'm gonna pick the one that's pretty. Well, I need to update my review here and tell y'all that the Kosas one is more effective. I don't know if this has less of the actual active ingredient, which is mandelic acid, which is the active ingredient that works for me. My friend Ludo, back in the day when he was working at Sephora, by the way, Ludo's got a channel now. Go watch Ludo's channel. I will link it below. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Either way, when Ludo was working at Sephora, they, I think Kosas, like came in and, you know, did a lesson on why the deodorant worked. And it's an AHA that actually actually kills bacteria on the skin, happens to be the stinky kind. And so it has been really, really effective for me. Lumi uses that as their active ingredient. I just happen to like the clear formula for the Kosas and for the Necessaire. But I, as I've been using this, I realize it's just not as effective. I get stinky. I get stinky sooner. I get stinky, you know, depending on what I'm wearing or depending on how much I sweat, whereas the Kosas is a lot more effective for a lot longer. So I will be buying the Kosas from now on. This is beautiful and effective-ish, but it's just not as good. All right, let's talk about skincare proper. You know, what's going on in my face. Because I have a lot of them, oh, oh, oh. Bow, chicka, wow. Hey, tag, and tag's new friend, welcome to Boston. Y'all saw me, I will just, you know, touch on this briefly. Y'all saw me recently do a sponsorship with Neutrogena and I'm still using this every single day. What I love about this is that, and honestly with all of these, is that like I have found products that I don't need to use a lot of at a time. So they last me a lot longer. It makes a huge difference. And this is already 1.7 ounces of this Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream. And I mean, I like, I've been using it every day for a couple of months. And like, they recommend a pearl sized amount. 
And that's actually what works. And I put it on my face and my neck. And I actually find that the more retinol you use, the more irritating it is. So it's actually kind of nice to be able to like, you know, meet out, M-E-T-E out, the effects of it by using a little bit less because then it's more effective and I don't find that I have these like aggressive, like dry patches and peeling and stuff like I've had in the past with other retinols. It's just a lot gentler. So I really like it. I've been using this quite a lot and it comes in glass, which is nice too. And you can get it on Amazon. The other treatment that I just talked about in my last video, I don't know, a couple videos ago is my Curology. This is just an important thing to mention if you're trying to, you know, get a holistic view of the maintenance that goes into my skincare. I am an acne sufferer. I am also a picker. You can tell. You can see it through my makeup right now. I had a rough night last night. <laughs> My child won't eat and so I was just incredibly stressed out and anxious last night and it just it came through I just took it out of my face. So either way There's something really nice about knowing that like at least something is working against all of my efforts uh, To make my breakouts seem to last so I have been using Curology for years and years and years and years and years and years and, years, and I still use it The other thing that I'll mention briefly But I have been using less of it because I use so many other things in my routine is the triple lipid restore 242 from SkinCeuticals, it's $130 a jar. There's absolutely like no reason to go and do this unless you have like nuclear level dry skin and nothing else is working. And that was where I landed on this. And I actually have, this is like the only thing that I have on like auto replenish. <laughs> because I don't like running out of it because I just never know when I'm gonna end up with like that nuclear level dry skin. It hasn't happened yet though. So I've been using this every few nights or a little bit at a time kind of thing, but I have not hit the absolute peak of like, you know, frozen tundra skin that I get probably, you know, January, February. And that's when this is going to come in really clutch, but it's definitely worth mentioning because I only do this video once a year. <laughs> Something that I came back around to, another one that's for nuclear level dry skin, but also I got my mom hooked on this and my aunt when I was home for, you know, early Christmas back in Florida. And that's the Dr. The Dr. Jart, the Dr. Jart Ceramiden Cream. They sent this to me in a really phenomenal package. Uh, it was one of the kits, you know, from Sephora, one of the little savings bundles or whatever. It's this, the full size of the Tiger Grass Cream, a full size of their overnight mask and uh, a sheet mask, I think. And it was $65 and then it was marked down to $48. This is $48 on its own. So if they still have that little kit, I uh highly -huh, recommend it. It's a great savings. But like my mom put this on and we were all like, wow, look at your skin, it's glowing. This is just a really, really fantastic, like thick, effective, ceramide rich, just protein rich, gorgeous, rejuvenating kind of moisturizer. Like you put it on and you're like, yeah, that's what I've been looking for, you know? Cause it's just got an amazing kind of thickness to it. Like she is not messing around. That's a good cream, it's a good cream. And it doesn't smell like anything except just the ingredients. It's just great. It's just a great product. And I'm glad that I got back into using it. There's just something about it where my skin goes, yeah, yeah, that's straightforward, no bells and whistles and everything that I need. So honestly, this might end up replacing my triple lipid restore. I'm gonna have to let y'all know, you know, when we get into uh, frozen tundra season, but it, it could happen. And it's a lot of it. All right. <laughs> This is the newest edition. I am so into this stuff. This is the new Make Beauty Hydroscape Moisturizing Reverse Emulsion. Do you love Sunday Riley? Do you love the glow that you get from Sunday Riley? Well, this takes that to 11, okay? It is somewhere in between. This is the way that I, I would, I, I've been describing it constantly. It's halfway in between the Future Dew from Glossier and that fantastic like K-Beauty super thin milky moisturizer from Hanacure that's $100 a bottle. This is much more affordable. I think it's like under $40 and you get, 1.7 fluid ounces. I want y'all to watch this, okay? It comes out like that, all right? And then, and then it kind of starts to grip like an oil serum. And come on with that texture. And it's so hydrating, but it's also so beautiful on the skin. Like, 
I don't know, I saw somebody on their stories just say like, it's that girl, okay? Like, this stuff is not playing around. It is so unbelievably gorgeous. Like, I put it on every single day. It's like the thing I look forward to in my routine because it just, <laughs> it, it's, the, it's the, the skin that you see sold to you in every picture, you know? You're taking pictures of 20 year olds in natural lighting. And it's like, oh, you can get this glow from this shimmer goo. This is gonna give you that. And it's actually an effective moisturizer. Hmm, this is great. And it makes me wanna try more skincare from Make Beauty. And then, oh no! Yeah, it's getting towards the end of the year, which means I'm getting towards the end of this bottle. So this is the Iconolab Renewal Face Oil. I've been using this probably since the beginning of my channel and it is always my last step, but it's also like a secret for like makeup artists and stuff like that because it gives your skin this instant gorgeous glow and it's really effective like it's a very like youthful looking oil and I really I use like three drops and I just kind of warm it in my hands like that and then I press it on so that you know because Curology has a little bit of I don't know something that can pill in it if you like rub too much or whatever so I just push it into my my face and my neck and my chest and it's just this it, it really makes my skin look healthy and younger and it's just something that I can't live without so there's 20% off on this in my description there always has been and this is a teeny tiny brand that you know hand makes these in California so I I adore this stuff okay let's talk about some brushes real quick because you'll ask me about this stuff a lot so you know you'll catch me using some rare beauty brushes or you know the the one off here and there from other brands sometimes but the main ones that i have tried this year and that i use the most are bk brushes and beauty pie brushes so quickly i will go over the beauty pie ones because they're a lot faster these two these two are game changers they're absolute bangers for my routine so this is the seamless foundation buffing brush and this is the pro angled concealer brush very affordable if you are a beauty pie member I think you can order off of beauty pie if you're not a member it just adds like ten dollars to your order or something it's like a, a day pass or whatever so yeah, six of one half a dozen to the other but I adore these they are really well done so they're both duo fibers you can see this one's domed this one's a little bit angled and domed and they're really soft and they're really dense and so they blend effortlessly i find myself halfway through my routine <laughs> having kind of like absent-mindedly used this for everything and i'm like khaki put the brush down. You're gonna end up with your whole face the same color. So yeah, it's definitely not something that I should use for my entire routine, but I, I absolutely try. And this is so great. Like you don't absolutely have to have a specific concealer brush. Like you can use your sponge or your fingers or whatever, but if you got really deep set eyes like I do, this shape right here, getting in right there is so convenient it's so convenient like my concealer does it like with this brush it doesn't make it all the way into like this deepest pocket of my socket if you will and this does so you know it's nice i can kind of go into painter mode especially i've been using the sublimage concealer from chanel and i just like work off the lid right here and i can grab exactly the amount that i need just with the brush and then I just, you know, dibby dab and kind of, like I said, I go into like this painter mindset. And these are the kind of brushes that to me make it so you're not thinking about your brush. That's kind of what I want from a brush is that it, it like makes the application process so simple and seamless, if you will, this being the seamless foundation buffing brush, that I never wonder whether I'm gonna get a good application from it. They're that reliable. I just, you know, think about where I'm putting it because they're going to do the work for me. So these are wonderful, 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 wonderful. And then we have BK and these are obviously not all of the BK brushes that, you know, I use and love, but these are some of them. I have a whole video on the BK brushes that I put out right when they were doing their big, big like annual site-wide sale a few months ago. So I will link that somewhere. Suffice to say, I mean, you can't really go wrong. This is my contour brush. This is the A507. These are some of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. This is the 207 and the 201. This is the best for powdering because I don't usually powder my whole face. So it like gets everywhere I need it to and applies just the right amount. And this is the 108. 
This is the tiniest, amazing, angled uh, eyeliner brush ever, and this is the 208. This is a fantastic blush and bronzer brush. This is the 104. I have these two here. This is my contour brush. This is the 106. And then this is the much maligned 105 that I hope Miss Tom doesn't understand how I can possibly use something like this for bronzer. I think it's fantastic. I love it and it makes me feel powerful. So if you want main character energy, the 105 is the one for you. Can I stretch this out a little bit and summon the energy? Let's see. The look needs to be complete at some point, right? Let's go into some fragrances. I have three fragrances that I have discovered, I wanna say all this year. I think all this year, one of them might not be this year, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. So first I wanna talk about Byredo Sundays. This is what I'm wearing right now and it just smells like summertime. If you're like nostalgic for summer. If you're ever nostalgic for summer, you can wear this year round. And then in the summertime, it really just, it gives you salty skin, sugar, citrus, sunscreen, sunshine. It's just lovely. It doesn't last super, super long, but apparently that's kind of a thing with Byredo. I didn't, I, I've only ever owned prior to this, Seven Veils from Byredo, and it lasts until you get your coat dry cleaned. So I, I was not aware of that, but this is just lovely. My husband got this for me for my birthday. I discovered this in Shen when I was in Brooklyn with Ingrid and I fell in love and never looked back and I love it so much. So I wear this all the time. It's so, so lovely. And the other two are both from House of Siage and they are like wildly expensive, but they tend to put these things on sale. I don't know if they're making this one anymore. A lot of this stuff is limited edition, but I had to mention it because this is my favorite fragrance to wear. That was it, that was the tweet. This is the Wonder Woman one, which is hilarious. Like I don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a devotee to many fandoms, certainly not anything having to do with like comic books. Regardless, this is like the most balanced example of everything that I love. It's sweet, it's floral, it's citrusy, and it's vanilla. It's everything at once. And it's not, it's, it doesn't, it's so balanced. It doesn't overpower anything in any way. I am not like epically good at describing fragrance, but I just absolutely love this. And they put out a candle. Can you figure your life out? Boop, there we go. They put out a candle with it, which was like easily my favorite candle that I used this year. So yeah, I just, I had to mention it mainly because it's so darn surprising. Like really me, Wonder Woman, I don't know. Those two things don't really fit, but they do such a great job of these like exquisite decorations with all the Swarovski crystals and everything. All their stuff is just like crazy, wildly luxurious. And I love using this. It smells so good. And then the other one from them that I have also loved, they started doing this uh, sweet atelier and it's like for all your all your gourmand needs and this was the second one that they sent me I want to say the first one had little gummy bears all over it this one's got cupcakes and popsicles all over it and a little cherry on top it's called cream chiffon this one's called cream chiffon come on right it's like the cutest thing I've ever seen the first one was a little too sweet for me but this one smells like the most elevated bath and body work smell ever do you need it not necessarily, but if the entire experience appeals to you, yeah, I mean, this one's really awesome. It's really creamy and lovely. And what's really funny is like of all the fragrances in my collection that I'm in love with and think are so exquisite and, you know, highbrow and whatever, I wear this and my husband tells me I smell good. There's something to be said for that. And aside from that Wonder Woman candle, this one uh, clearly grew on me. <laughs> This is the replica by the fireplace candle. Like, does Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works come close? Yes, but it's not quite the same. And the way that this like hangs around is just so lovely. When I first lit it, I was like, uh, <coughs> wow, that's a lot. You know what I mean? But if for some reason it mellows out after you initially light it and it just became my comfort scent. So I get it now. I'm a believer in by the fireplace. This is kind of oddball. It's just in its own category, I guess, because it's almost makeup, but not. So this is my SPF. This is the SPF that I have, that they chose me, really. So I did a sponsorship with Durham Store at one point, and they let me just pick out a bunch of stuff on site, and this had just come out, I want to say, and I was like, 
prime game to try some new SPFs. It was coming up on summertime. This is the Tula Mineral Magic Probiotic and Superfoods Oil-Free Mineral Sunscreen Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I love this. I'm wearing it right now, obviously, but it's just this really fantastic mineral SPF that has micro, I mean, I don't know about nano, I don't think it's a nano anything, but yeah, non, it says an oil-free mineral daily SPF fluid that's non-greasy, feels weightless, plus protects from the damaging effects of blue light and pollution, non-comedogenic. It's 3.6% uh, titanium dioxide and 2.34% zinc oxide. It's got this lovely, like, golden tint to it that some people have told me is like wildly orange on them, which I, I do need to make you aware of if you're very, very pale and maybe olive. But for me, it virtually disappears. And the tiny bit of like, you know, dissolved minerals in it and the little bit of like pearlescence, radiance, whatever that it has to it, makes it so that I feel a lot more confident some days going without makeup because it has just this much amount of blurring to it. And I just feel like it's a really flattering color for me. It really like enhances my complexion and it's not coverage necessarily, but it just kind of like obscures imperfections and things like that. So I love this. And this is, I think my fourth one of these this year. Okay. Skincare thingies. <laughs> Again, there are plenty of things that I use all the time, but not that I've, tr you know, tried for the first time this year. This is new to me and I've bought one for like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of my friends have bought them too. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury cryo recovery mask. And I just stumbled on this on her website. I was like, I'm sorry, a freezable ice mask that has acupressure thingies on it. Girl, I could use this right now. I won't put it on top of my makeup. But yeah, it's got these little acupressure balls on it. It doesn't stay cold a super long amount of time, but at the same time, if it did, it might give you like a really gnarly brain freeze and I don't want to wear it for that long anyway. But Simbri has one, Amanda has one, Rachel has one. I go in for my sister for Christmas. And I love this because, you know, a lot of times things that go on as like, you know, reusable masks, LED masks and things like that, they're not super like easy to get them to stay on your face. Man, these Velcros are not screwing around. You take this thing and you go, and then you take this little one that goes under your chin and it goes all the way from under your chin, which it has an ice thing right there. And it goes all the way to the top of your head, like the wuss hat from Salute Your Shorts. I will not be able to find that, but uh, like a picture of that. But if you know, you know. Anyway, my point is this thing is fantastic and it really like locks on and it kind of just like, you know, gives you all of the experience all at once and is great for treating headaches. So I think that it has been a fantastic little buy and it is really cool as a gift because it's like one size fits all, you know? All right, and we have two hair care things to round this out. One is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. I think this is my fifth one of these. I don't use a lot of hair product, but dry shampoo is huge for me. A, because I shower at night and my hair just likes to stick to my head by morning and restyling it is annoying and it just wants to be flat. But also, um, we don't talk about this enough, the struggle that is your skincare getting in your hair. And I just, I struggle with that. So even if I wash my hair every day, I still wanna have a dry shampoo. And this one, the claims, this is actually cleans hair. Makes a huge difference. Plus, I like the smell of it. Like I've had friends reach out to me, my friend Hallie reached out to me and she's like, this is the one. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> like she found it on her own. And she's like, I know. I found it through Amanda. It's a really, it's like worth every penny to me as far as dry shampoos are concerned. Like, yeah, it leaves a white cast. It does. And I just let it like cook on my hair and then I just comb it back out. But other than that, like it's an incredibly effective dry shampoo that doesn't make my hair super like sticky gritty you know? And it doesn't make it feel dirtier. It's really, really good stuff. And finally, this was just sent to me and it is an instant love affair. I hope it doesn't light on fire. The last time I had one of these like this, I used it for so long that it lit on fire. It was from Conair, but it was only one side of a brush. And then the other side was the intake and the intake. I did a terrible job of cleaning it. I know better now, but the intake is down here. So this is by Koki. And is it cute or what? I just hit myself in the face. Is it cute or what? I'm gonna brush my hair. This is one of those blow dryer stylers. Oh, cut it out. 40 bucks. And I'm working on getting a, a discount code from them right now for 25% off on their website as well. So we'll see if that materializes. But 
I started using this just the last couple of weeks and I love it. I've never tried like the air wrap or anything like that, but I was, I was a hairstylist for a long time. And so I know how to blow my own hair out. I know how to blow hair out effectively, but let me just tell you, there are physical limitations to that. Okay. I can't get behind myself with both hands and a round brush. It's very difficult. This makes it very easy. Here, an excuse to take this daggum thing off. Like, okay, I have actual like, texturizing product in my hair right now so it's kind of hard to comb through but like you take this bad boy especially if you've got like curtain bangs or something and you do like that and it gets hot enough i'm not going to say you're going to be able to blow out like you know unrelaxed 4c hair with this with any kind of efficacy but for me somebody who just needs some help with the volume you know this is amazing it's amazingly helpful. I've timed myself multiple times and the time that I, the, the every single time, it takes nine minutes to do my entire head with this. And you know, you can get, you can get volume, you can get control, you can get straightening, you can get nice curves at the ends and stuff. And I am not someone who does a whole lot of styling to my hair. Most of the time I like to just strap it back. But this has been something that has made me excited to style my hair and make me want to wear it down more because I actually really like the shape that it gives to my hair. And it is a much longer lasting blowout than me doing it, you know, myself with a round brush. So I love this thing. This was, again, this was sent to me, but I mean, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. It is, and it's great. It actually heats all the way around. It has a high, a low, and just a regular unheated air so that you can like cool your style and everything. And I find it's great not just for like blow drying my hair from, you know, towel dry, but also for restyling. I love this thing. And it's cute. Look at it with its little rose gold and its little pale pink. It's cute. So yeah, I've been loving that thing. Loving it. Love it. It's like exciting to be able to like give myself volume again. There is something to be said for it. My headband has been a fair weather friend today and that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to share with y'all the things, like I said, I don't get a chance to really talk about them that often. It's just, I do interact with almost as many non makeup things and end up loving and wanting to, you know, sing from the rooftops about just as many non makeup beauty things that I, I just, I, I never get really the chance to talk about because I'm just talking about makeup all the time. There's only so many hours in a day to make content. <laughs> so if y'all have an idea of like a way that you would want to digest these kinds of things in the future so that it's not one video a year, let me know. But I hope that this was fun for y'all. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for the rest of Best of the Best Week because Wednesday is going to be my honorable mentions and Friday is going to be my best of the best of the year. And if you have not already, use my link down below to check out Ana Luisa. I highly recommend. It is the ultimate icing on the cake for every single one of my looks and I absolutely adore them for everything that they are and everything that they do. And you can get buy one, get one 50% off site wide right now. So that's another really good reason to do it. And I will throw another video that I think that you're going to like right here. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.